Ta-da! We got donor bikes. I've been shopping. Ta-da! Here we have a 1983 R80 ST. ST, baby. What's the ST stand for? Street version. It's the road going version of the GS. And the wonderful thing is that it shares most of its DNA with the GS. So this is what we use to build our adventure bikes. So Much the adventure. to the disdain of the enthusiast, the ST enthusiast. So I'm gonna chop it up, destroying this fabulous ST. But we're gonna make an amazing Marlboro livery GS adventure bike, drag in a whole new generation of interest to the mark. I'm already defending myself. So it's not de demolishing it, it's basically giving her a second life. Yeah, uh, I mean, no one wanted this bike. The fuel line isn't hooked up. It obviously had a different tank on it because it's got dual fuel line and this has a single outlet on the gas tank. It doesn't have a gas cap, so the gas is probably moldy in there. There's no battery in it. They've got nothing. You can't crank this. Set of keys? Set Can of I keys. see that? Yeah, yeah. Not the original key, Okay. but certainly a key. It's Not even the original nut on the ignition barrel. So I doubt that's a, let's see if it's a three clicker. One, two, oh yeah, two click. So it's GS. Would the plan be to crank it and try to start it? Hell before... no. Just take it apart. Okay. Take the crank out of the block. Start okay. again. What we have here are beautiful ingredients. Someone's going to want parts from this. For all the uh, ST Mafia out there, if you need it. No way! A crusty gas tank or some fenders. Let me know. Forks, First front wheel, front wheel, front wheel. So look, look at some more GS cool stuff. So we've got the uh, single-sided swing arm with the three lugs bolt on hub. Um, so we extend these typically on our builds. We make them 50 millimeters longer and extend the drive shaft. Nice thing about the STs is they came with a higher ratio rear end. So nice for freeway cruising. So when you say higher ratio rear end, what is that to the layman? Uh, less acceleration, but more top end. So cruiser? Yeah, good cruiser. It's a road race. Whereas the GS had a lower ratio on the rear end, so you had more low end power to get you out of the mud. Oh, that makes sense. But then you'll revy at the freeway. You know? Okay. So this is an R80 engine, which means you've got 800 cc pistons. Do you think the engine is uh, original to the rest of the bike? Yes. Uh, we will replace the entire top end on this bike. When the engine comes out, we take it down to the crank, new bearings. So we'll set up the bottom end. Yeah. Then we'll put on new pistons and cylinders, and then we'll swap out these low compression R80 heads for some big valve R100 Euro. Okay. You know what is wicked as a donor? Yeah. On the ST, this is the later Bosch H4 headlight lens and reflector. And we can use that on a slash five. So Lovely upgrade. The ring, got it. the lens, the reflector. Got it. Is there anything under the saddle? Is there like any sort of container space that we could see? Let's, have a look. Let's see what's in there. Dead body? No, it's been pillaged. Oh, okay. There so, should be a tool tray and tool kit. And a donut. A battery even. Look at all the splicing in that harness. You want to ride that bike? I think not. It's done. Okay. Oh, but you could buy a new harness. Can and I will. All right. Oh, check this out. Mm -hmm. This seat mechanism. Oh yeah. Unobtainium. Oh, hang on, Matt. People are paying like three hundred bucks for that. I'd never sell one because they're so precious. So would this go on another bike? Oh yeah, hundred oh. percent. We use new plastic, so we'll have new fenders. Probably won't even use that wheel. Won't even use that final drive. But I'm going to use the main frame. Maybe the subframe, the swing arm, engine and gearbox. Then I give the whole front end to Josh at Parts House. If you need SD parts, hit up Parts House. Josh at Parts House. We'll lose these foot pegs. We'll lose the carbs. This shock absorber is pretty new. That's been replaced in its life, isn't it? Someone wants that. What brand is that? I don't know. I don't care. Good, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Should we uh, have a look at what else I bought? Donor bike number two. Ta da! And the brakes work. Ooh, it's got a key. A what? And a battery. Uh oh. I think you get your shot on this one. No. Nah. But look how clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean, isn't it? It would have had a fairing on it originally. 
you... Someone's been monkeying around because it's got slash six fork gears and little brackets to make it like a naked bike. It would what? have had a big fairing on there. What's the bike called? 1992. R100. Check this out. Oh. Look how much gasket sealer there is on the back of the gearbox. What does that even mean? Someone's been in there monkeying around. That ain't good. Do you like it? Oh. <laughs> but I bought it because this is the donor for a bobber. Oh. Factory Monoshock R100. Monoshock, you can imagine, like once you take all this off, you're left with the silhouette of this wonderful bike. Brendan's gonna overlay a bobber. Oh, that's so clever. Oh, let's see what's inside. <laughs> oh, you missed the shit. Did you miss it? Yeah, kind of. Well, but we've got the orange. Oh, there's a thing. Uh, someone's been in it. Someone's been pillaging. No tool, put, no tool kit, no tool tray. Oh. There's always something stashed in there normally. Wow. Are the wheels salvageable? Please? Oh, yeah. We'll Cerakote uh, them. You have to take the wheel off and inspect it because it's a drum brake. You have to measure the inside lining because the wheel is actually a wear item. Oh, the wheel? The wheel is a wear item. So if, if it's been used too much and there's too much of a lip, you can't use it. So, and is that something you can see by looking at it or do you need a device to help you? There is a uh, rear brake pad wear indicator. Whoa. And uh, so far it says that we are in the middle of the pad. So you can't tell what the wheel looks like because someone may have changed the pads. But with 62,000 miles, I reckon it's all right. You think this is original 62 miles? That's accurate. It's pretty clean. It yeah. Is original, isn't it? And where did this bike come from? Um, same geezer that sold me the ST. Oh, yeah, two. Package deal. Oh, nice. Um, question. Of, on this bike, what do you think is the most valuable item that you will salvage? Identity. Oh. Aside from that, I mean, as a, like a component, a part, is there something? Put it this way. I'm pretty sure I paid about two grand for the bike. Yeah. The first component I buy for a build surpasses the cost of the donor bike. So when I buy a set of forks at 2,700 bucks, yeah. already the most valuable part. We scrap the whole front end. All of this comes off. So just to explain exactly, point to what is coming off. See this nut? One second. Do you Let's imagine taking that nut off yep. and letting everything yep. plop off? Okay. All that's gone. Got it. So you're asking me what part is the most valuable? Yeah. Uh, there isn't. Like it's the identity, the, the, the correct engine, in the correct frame, with a five-speed box, with a swing arm and final drive, hopefully salvageable, and it will be built as new. But like, even that my handlebar assembly is gonna surpass the cost of the Dota bike. Can you tell by looking at it that the engines are gonna be fine on mm. this? No, you can't tell. I've never tried to fire, I bought it online. Don't get me wrong, I go, so... I, can't, I wake up at 2 a.m., mm. I go cruising Facebook. For bikes or other things? Only for, for motorcycles. <laughs> Everything <laughs> looks connected. I was actually looking at it thinking, that's definitely going to fire. It's totally going to fire. It? You can feel it? Yeah, it's okay. going to fire. Oh my gosh. If it's got juice in the battery, that's the first thing to see. Okay. It? Oh, hang on. Let's see. We've got juice. I don't think we have a neutral light. Okay. So if we put the choke on. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Which they work. I mean, is it a bad idea to stand behind the bike? Nah, it's going to smoke like crazy. Probably. Exactly. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. It's nothing. Nothing. Junk. I can hear it clicking. It's oh. clicking at the relay. So that's not the starter solenoid that has no juice because it would go. I can definitely smell petrol as well, right? Oh, yeah, it's definitely leaking. Yeah, lovely jubby. Oh, don't chop it up. Save it. Haters will say this is rehearsed. Stand by. Oh, we've got neutral light now. That's oh, exciting. oh, oh. Nah, that's the wrong relay. Oh. Here it comes, sucker. Let's see. No. Okay. No hope. All right, we tried. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that thumbs up button. It's okay. I'm either going to get a lot of love or a lot of hate for even touching this. What is it? 1975 R90S. Triple numbers matching, possibly the most coveted airhead 
out there at the minute. What makes it that? It was the first special one. They're being restored and sold for 60 odd grand as original bikes. So is it just rare or? They're rare and they're special. Yeah, both. And what? And I got two. Yeah. Where did she come from? I can't say. Okay. Are you able to tell me any sort of history of the bike at all? It's been stored for at least a decade in the back of someone's shop. But look at it. We've got the original Delortos. We've got the original 3311 final drive. The ratio on the final drive is very special on the R90S. Then we have the original factory drilled airbox. Mmm. Seat cowl is original, albeit missing the grab rail, but that stuff's available. Seat emblem. R90S gas tank is very special because this was the introduction of the gas tank that we know and love that was on the R100. But we're still with the earlier gas cap style found on the six gallon tank, like what's on the R75s, the 70s bikes. Okay. Look, I mean, everything's original on the bike. This front cover has been removed and painted black. And then they've drilled a hole in the front so that you can access the, uh, the rotor bolt. Why would you want to do that? So you can adjust the timing and turn the engine from the front. Original key. I love these original keys. If you look back to the uh, Gordon Commission. Video there. We used the original R90S key on his build because I love that early style. Is, that, is the key on these salvageable? Oh, I mean, look at it. It's, it's floppy. It feels good. Could you? Like, it might be. Okay. It might be. It's a risk. Oh, okay. All of the all of the electrical brain for this primitive motorcycle was in the headlight bucket. So all the main power from the battery goes through the key. Oh, it's just so much better to use a new barrel. Okay. The R90S got these special risers, cast with these little nubs on top. Steering damper. That works. Lovely. Music. Oh, this would have a fairing originally. Oh, so somebody has been... cockpit. Yeah, someone's taken it so off. So somebody has taken a screwdriver to her. Yeah. These enamel roundels are original. They're beautiful and definitely going on my, on my shelf. My little box of original roundels. The seat cow one is original as well. well let's take a look at that. Mm, it's the same. Is this bike? Yeah. It's, what's, the, what's the things here, these frames? What are the Pannier racks. Luggage rack. Do they do they all come with that? Uh, so you could put them on all of them. But out the been pillaged as well. What? No tool tray. No donut. Oh. Well, clearly there was a problem because you shouldn't have one of them in there. Huh. But some harness. Okay. Broken choke cleaver. Oh yeah, she snapped off. What's this thing on the side? What you got? I've never seen one of those. It's a horn. Is that a factory thing? Uh, not on this bike, no. Oh, look, they've even drilled a hole in the frame, bolted it in the frame. Is that Scumbag. A... No, no, they've drilled two holes. They've gone all the way through the frame and put a nut on the other end of it. Uh... Oh, look, there's a hole on this side as well. For your second horn. For the second horn. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You think maybe there's... Um... So again, to the naysayers. No, you bought it. I bought it. I'm going to fix it. Vapor blast all those engine cases. Whoa, it's going to look brand new. The exhaust pipes, is that something you think you might be able to salvage? No, they will go straight in the trash can. Okay. Rear passenger pegs. Nice comfy seat. Then those assholes come along and put little skateboard seats on and make their cafe racers. This was the first bike to get the, uh, the dual disc brake. Albeit shit brakes, but... It did get dual disc brakes. So was this the top of the range at the time? <laughs> oh, yeah. This factory. was the first superbike. Reg Pridmore would race these. Hans Muth designed it. Same geezer that designed the ever loved R80 GS. Awesome, awesome bike. If your checkbooks are primed, I'll restore it. This can be a Daytona Orange 1975 R90S. Do you think uh, Brendan could put up a Daytona Orange swatch? I can't tell what that is. <laughs> Good. It was a, it was like a candy smoke paint job, and it was 
bright orange into silver. Ghastly, but oh. it was kind of wicked. Three pretty bikes. Oh, I don't know. I'd, I'd say, uh, well, let's not make enemies. Three pretty bikes. <laughs> In their, you know, just woke up state. From a slumber of a couple of decades. After a big night out. <laughs> What's your favourite? Mm. Is it? This is, in the book, the most special. Yeah. Uh, this is the best bike to ride, period. Even in factory form and working, I'd say it's the best. Uh -huh. That's pretty good too. But you asked what my favourite was. Yeah. My, that's my favourite. I like all of them though, otherwise I wouldn't do it. Ta-da!